At UFC 270 Media Day, Francis Ngannou said he knocked out Cyril Gane in sparring when they used to train. He did it with a head kick and he said he wasn't even trying to do it, he just did it accidentally. Ngannou's kicking is an underrated aspect of his game. He hammered Stipe with a big one in their rematch, but Stipe survived it, only to be KO'd more viciously in the next round. Gregor Gillespie wants to fight Tony Ferguson next. Gregor is ranked number 10, Tony number 7. It's kind of a shame, but Gregor may never really get a chance to test himself against the top 10 because he's 35 and he's running out of time. Guys ranked above him aren't interested in fighting a guy ranked below them, who also happens to be a tough stylistic matchup. Issam Machev could have faced the same dilemma as Gillespie, but he had Habib as a spokesman for him who can use his influence to help guide the process of Machev getting matchups that can lead him towards the top. Gillespie does not have those contacts, and he isn't willing to take short notice fights because he wants a proper and full camp to compete. Also, he doesn't like talking trash, which can help get you what you want, although he is becoming more vocal because he realizes he's not going anywhere as it is. If the USC had a tournament format from time to time, that could help guys like Gillespie, but they're not going to do that, so he's going to have to deal with the cards he's dealt. The rest of the division just keeps moving on though. You got Oliver and Gaethje who are going to fight. Dariush and Machev are going to fight. RDA and Fazeev are going to fight. And Corey and Nate may also end up getting matched up.